Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. In this video, we're going to be checking out a mod, as well as we're going to be working on a, uh, <laughs> a, I guess you can say he's an influencer, and you, I'll try to put him on the thumbnail so you guys know who he is right off the gate here, but this is one version of the mod, we're going to be working on a Chevy Astro van here. As you see, this one's all put together, it's like a, uh, I think I have the wrong glass in the back. Well, no, I guess if you want to see out the back. But I'll let you go ahead and hear it and fire it up. So, yeah, it's using a, uh, a V6 in it here. This is kind of the uh, panel van version of it, like cargo van version of it. But if you go inside here, oh, we have our four Scion. Yes, it's still here. Yes, it still needs the motor. The motor is in storage. I just need to put it together for you guys, and then we will definitely be checking this thing out. But here it is. You're like, what's the difference? It's just got glass on it. Yeah, because there's a influencer in the OCRP GTA community that uh, likes driving one of these. And I'll help you out with looking at the license plate there. That's whose, uh, that's whose car we're going to be working on today. So if you look inside of here, the suspension work's all done on it. There's just no engine. Classic, we ain't got no engines. So I have the engine over here, getting ready to put it together. Oh, I was putting the, uh, I was putting the Scion's engine in there for the time being because I wanted to work on this. So... I'm going to be working on putting the engine together. I should have all the parts for it. So we're going to go ahead and get this all set up. Not planning on doing any performance parts or anything to it. Just want to do um, a complete restore of the car. I did do some Jace touches to the vehicle. I did. <laughs> I guess that's what you could say it is. I put his... Uh, extremely illegal extremely dark window tent on the uh on the car there so definitely stands out a little bit uh yep i still have one more there we go i didn't tint the windshield though which i don't remember if he tents his windshield or not or he did it the one time he did it before the guys pulled him over for the window tent but yeah i thought it would be pretty funny to do a little Side skit like sketch thing of that. Oh, I am missing this. There we go. I got lucky. I found that one at the auction. I finally found one to uh, buy. I already had the panel van version, and I was gonna just do the episode on that, but I was like, man, he doesn't drive that, and I really want to get the car that uh, uh, Jace drives. Well, I say Jace, but really it's Damn It Dave for those of you that don't know. You definitely need to check out. Uh, 5PD stuff when he plays as Jace. He's a great millennial rp -er. <laughs> Or not millennial, I guess you would say Gen Z? Gen X? I, I don't know. I'm, I lost track after uh, being a millennial. I was like, okay, well, I don't know anymore. Whatever's afterwards. Gen Z, Gen X, whatever. It's just names either way. So we're going to be putting his motor back together in his car here. I'm definitely going to put the uh, spark plugs on because I had an issue when I was putting together the panel vans motor where this was a little bit more difficult with the uh, intake on, the intake manifold. And as you can probably see in my inventory, I have the uh, scrap parts too. Not in the case of this because I only had enough for one motor and not two. But all of the uh, scrap parts that are in here were from this car's original motor, but all the parts I was able to salvage for the motor, I did stick them on the panel vans version of it. So basically, this car is getting a brand new motor. The other one got a complete restore of the other car's motor. So kind of how it, broken, it was broken down for this one. All right, we got this side of the block done. We'll put this floating fuel filter on here already. There we go. And we'll get these cams on. We got the bottom end completely built out on this thing already. So we're just working a little bit on the back. And as 
well as the top end. We still got to get the front, too, with all the belts and everything. But like I said, I should have all of the parts already for it. Let's get the spark plugs in. This side's a little bit easier to install, but we might as well get them in now just to be on the safe side. Along with the ignition coils. So yeah, we are cranking through this thing. It might not be as long of an episode as my other ones, which that's fine. I know uh, some people like to just come and check out the the end result here. So I do not wish to just stay with only long videos. I like to accommodate both sides. All right, let's go ahead and get this cover on. The intake manifold going. That's the first part of it. Here's the second part of it. Get the extremely long bolts down in, and that's done. There we go. And we'll get this on. And that should pretty much be the top end of this thing. Yep. Looks like it's the top end. I'm gonna start working on the front again. Let's get these cam gears on. Yep, we can get our first belt on. Gonna start getting some covers on here. Another idle roller. I Like I said, I should have enough parts for everything. I think what we'll do is we'll do a true test at the uh, end of this one and see if I have any leftover parts. I forgot it on the last video I did with this. That should be everything. This is gonna be drop the motor into it. Once the engine puller is not over there, let's get that. And we'll go ahead and put that in. Take that back out again. Before we top off the fluids, yeah, see, look at the window tent. It's just ridiculous. You can't even see out the other side of it, practically. Uh, let's see. He's got that triple window tent, or whatever, double bolt limo tent, the inside and the outside of the windows. All right, got that. Get the starter. Just trying to work my way around there. There we go. Ooh, I don't know if I have... Okay, no, I have it. Okay. Woo. So far, so good on that. And... We are still missing parts. Oh, up top. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely keeping Jace's van for my collection. So, this is going to be the one that I keep. The other one out there was the one I was going to keep, but I decided that I'd rather have Jace's van instead of... Uh, just some regular panel van that I try to make it seem like his with the license plate on it. All right, that should be the last of the parts with these two clips. Yep, okay, time to top off fluids now. I still need to, uh, I don't remember if I did, I don't think I did. I still need to do the alignment on it and the headlight alignment on it, but obviously it's already painted, so it doesn't need a paint job. Don't need to take it to the dyno because it's it's stock. There's nothing performance-wise on it. I was contemplating on throwing a bunch of performance parts at it, but at the time I didn't have enough money, and I was like, eh, it's fine. I'll just go ahead and just do a restore to a uh, influencer from a... Uh, OCRP <laughs> to his character, <laughs> the influencer character, JC Ace. All right, we got that. There we go, let's get the brakes. And then we just have the engine oil and we should be good to go after that. As that's clipping through the battery. And again, I think the guy wanted to get all these parts in here without you being able to see them. So he's going to cram down in here. So the engine bay is tiny, which back in the day they were on these things. And they were on most vans. They got 
the engine just shoved into that firewall. It's all about the space inside the cabin, not the actual functionality for the uh, mechanics of them. All right. Got the engine oil in. Let's go ahead and move it over to the test path. Even though it's stock, we'll check out its top speed to see how it does. Yep, we need an alignment. Ooh, this is really far off. When I got it at the auction, I got it at the junkyard auction, so it was in pretty rough shape when I got it. There we go. And yeah, this is jacked up too. Most of the body was there though, surprisingly. Not much of the glass, which is fine. You usually can't repair glass, but... A good amount of the body was there that I had to... I didn't have to do too much with other than repairing. All right. So I'll get this out here. Whoops. I took it back to the lift. Let's get it out here next to the panel van. Definitely going to sell this one. I think I got this in the junkyard. Let me double check that. Yeah, okay, cool. That actually works out good for us. Oh my god, look at this window tent. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Definitely sounds right. Sounds right up Chase's alley. <laughs> All right, let's see how fast this thing ain't gonna go fast. Well, we'll see. Oh yeah, slow launch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The speedo works. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. I don't think it works as a needle, but that's fine. It's doing. We got the mod author got it to do what the best he could with what he could work with. So that's pretty cool. Man, this thing is cooking. 110, not bad for a 90s Chevy Astro, man. Family in the back seat's gonna freaking die. 120. Can we get to 130? Oh, I don't think we are. No. 128. Thank you. <laughs> Not bad. Still pretty quick for a minivan. Gotta, gotta admit, I'm a little impressed. Woo. There we go. That is, uh, that is pretty good. <laughs> Just imagine if I, uh, if I put some performance parts on it and maxed it out. This thing probably would have been really crazy. I kind of regret not doing that now, but it is what it is. <laughs> we have the uh, the Hellcat van that we got to uh, drive around and enjoy. That was all souped up. So this car here, like I said, I bought it at an auction for the junkyard. I paid $87.89 for it. With all my restoration work, I would make a profit of $26,157. For selling it for thirty-four thousand, almost thirty-five thousand, I think this one is going to be the same, except for the fact that it was a junkyard vehicle. Yeah, I only paid three thousand for this. I'm going to make thirty-one thousand on this one, and sell it for thirty-four two thirty-nine, which I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And there you have it. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. I hope I did Jace proud by a. Uh, Restoring and rebuilding his van for him here. But you guys can let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.